code number one confirmed. Awaiting PAL code number two. Okay, that takes care of PAL code number one. Now, PAL number two, freeze the key. Number two confirmed. Awaiting PAL code number three. Okay, there goes PAL code number two. Next comes PAL number three. Warm the key. Snake, it's about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake. Have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye? Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah? Well, apparently Fox Dye kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines? She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure, 
but he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages toward the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So, it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Is that all you think about? But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Ah. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know anything. My parents' face is my name. The name and ID I have now I just bought. But the reason why I study genetics, that was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from. But I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier when he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox. We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He is everything to me. The only proof I have of my existence. Of my existence as an individual. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom, this America. But then he and my brother went back to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you, and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes, that's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. <laughs> like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments. Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterward, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me. I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. Naomi.
tell me something. About fox dye? Fox dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes, created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages. They begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack. The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that... No. That's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing that I wanted to tell you was... Snake. Hey! What are you doing? <sighs> Snake. Naomi? Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel. You double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA Chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when I decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? Well, for starters, I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. We thought we'd get the info from you, but there was Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just to get me to input the detonation code? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? 
In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come to where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid! How the... You've served your purpose? You may die now. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Like my sunglasses. Oh, you'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. You performed quite well, I must say. <sighs> Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked? You've lost your warrior's pride, and become nothing more than a pawn, Snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch? Rescuing the hostages? It was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us, so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged along with bodies of the Genome Soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Dye. Fox Dye? It can't be! Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation. But no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Yeah, why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. 
It's true that the arms tech president and decoy octopus were killed by fox dye. But Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm, could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles! You're fine. You got all of the old man's dominant genes. I got all the flawed, recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. So you're saying I'm the dominant one? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? <laughs> but I'm the one Father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Ha! Love? It's hate. His choosing me, knowingly, to be the inferior one? For this, I want revenge! You don't even understand this! You, who could kill your own real father! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began! I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. You missed your last chance! You'll regret that forever!
long ago. It sounds better than Deep Throat. So it is you. You look terrible, Snake. You haven't aged well. I'll send you back to hell! She's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi... You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her, too. Oh, I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood, to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now, she thinks of me as her brother. Fox. Outwardly, we may have seemed like contented brother and sister. But every time I looked into her eyes, I trembled with fear. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are! We're just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving.
one of you, I can finally die. After Zanzibar land, I was taken from the battle, neither truly alive nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon, soon it will finally end. of the government, or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing, the only thing I was good at. But at least, uh, I always fought for what I believed in. Snake! When death is entreated, the battle is decided. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Crush you into dust! <laughs> 